Hello, Connections families. I'd like to introduce myself. I am Christina Stevenson, and I am one of the people on the technology support team. And I'm sure you have questions about technology. That's why you clicked on this video. In particular, what I want to answer is what is Teams and why are we using it and how are we using it? I'm going to show you on Teams some of the cool things that Teams can do and just explain how we're going to use it this year. So I am logged into Teams and you can see my the classes I'm enrolled in are right there. Now everybody ends up in Homeschool Connections because that's supposed to be like a forum where you can discuss things. If your eighth if your kids eighth grade or above, they would be enrolled in Scala Societatis, which is our house system. And so that would be one that you would see. At some point, teachers will be creating classes on Teams for each of their classes. And so once they do that, and once they add your student to their class, you'd also see those classes on this screen. I had Mrs. Lorelli add me to her Intermediate Grammar 2 and give me some assignments so I can show you, you know, what, what this is, how, like how could we use this, what can we use this for? So if I click on the team, it brings me to this page. Now, I feel like if you're pretty good with social media in general or, or decently tech savvy, a lot of this you'll be able to navigate really well. Keep in mind that depending on the age of your student, you may have to be more involved in their usage of Teams. And each teacher may use it a little differently, which I know is annoying, um, but definitely be looking out for the teacher to tell you, yes, you need to log on to Teams, or I don't really use Teams, or whatever, especially for the younger kiddos. So in this class, I can see posts that Mrs. Lorelli has made. So she's got a welcome post with a fun GIF, or GIF, depending on whether you like being right or wrong. <laughs> Then she's also made a post that includes her class letter and classroom expectations. So those are things that are right there um, that as soon as I joined, I could see, which is really helpful. She also has other channels over here on the side, which I assume is where she'll put other posts when those weeks come along. So other things that we can look at here if Mrs. Lorelli has uploaded files to this team as resources, we can click on files and be able to see those there. She's got some folders and things like that. So if you, you know, lose something or if she's made something extra available online, you can find it here. Often I am probably most teachers would also post or attach it to an assignment. And so let's look at assignments. So on assignments, this is what makes this different, by the way, from if you have teams that you use for work or personal reasons, that we have specifically education licenses so that we can do assignments, class notebook, and grades. So. I asked Mrs. Lorelli to assign these for me so I could show you what kind of things you might expect from assignments. So if I look at this, they're actually all due on the same day. If they weren't, it would order it from soonest to latest. And so what I can do here is I can say, okay, here's the name of it, due date, it's worth 10 points. Let's see if I can do this. After watching the lesson video, complete the attached form to review before class. I think we need to do the lesson one video first. Here we have a video that we can watch, five minute video. And so what we would most likely do there to, to turn this in is say, oh, I watched it, so let me turn it in. For this, this is just showing Mrs. Lorelli that I watched the video, but this one, so now that I've watched the video, I can go to this form and complete this assignment. So I can, you have to be logged into Teams, into your Connections account to be able to see this, um, which if you're in Teams, that 
is no problem. Um, so I can answer these to the best of my ability. What do sentence diagrams do? Obviously, I'm answering this in a silly way. Great job. If I, if I view results, um, I got them all wrong. This is an assignment that graded itself. Mrs. Lorelli, though, can go and look at this and, uh, and double check that I really got the wrong answers. Because if I don't put it this exact way, there's three different things that it would accept and automatically grade as being correct. Um, but let's say that I didn't do it one of those ways, but I still did it better than what I actually put in, then Mrs. Lorelli can double check what my answer was and she can change it so that I get the points if, if needed. Don't think it's needed on this one because I just did real bad. And when I exit out of that, it's automatically turned in because I finished the form. So you'll notice I have fewer assignments here. I can also click completed and look at these two assignments. Relevant to this would be the grade tab. So this gives you an overview of what's happening. It shows you whether things are turned in or not. This is really actually a good idea for you parents to know because um, we don't have we don't really have a way to let you see teams on a daily basis unless you're looking at your kids over their shoulder or with their password. But this would be a good page on each class to take a look at because it's very obvious what's not turned in, very obvious what's turned in. Once things get graded, then those will um, change, I think, to returned, uh, and we would see point values over here. So this would give you a real clear picture of how your kiddo is doing based on if they've turned things in or not. If you're in a lot of classes, this might seem overwhelming when I switch to it. If you're in a, multiple classes on Teams, it will their assignment backpack over here will actually show you all your assignments listed in order of due date from soonest to latest. So if I do that, I have a whole bunch of random stuff, but you can see these two right here, um, and you can see that it's ordered by. Um, it's ordered by date, soonest first. And the ones here that tell me how many are turned in, those are ones that I've assigned, um, but the ones that I'm a student for have the points over here. I just got a notification that said that one or more of my assignments has been graded. So I'm gonna come over, there's two ways to do that. I can come over here to the assignment backpack or I can, actually three ways, I can go to chat and there's a chat message that will take me to the assignment. I'm going to go to the team. My quiz got returned. It's a zero out of 10. I can click on it. I can click on it again and it does not give me a chance to, to redo it. That's what it would look like as far as the communication back and forth between teacher and student on assignments. Let's look at one more thing that I think is really useful. This is one of the reasons why I really, really like using Teams. So let's say that I did that quiz and I got zero points and I I realized that I didn't watch the video and I go back and watch the video and realize that all the answers maybe were in the video. So I want to talk to Mrs. Lorelli and let her know that and see if there's any way um, that I can do something about that grade. So there's chat, which lets you chat with other users on Teams. And so I can type in, um, I can either try to type in her first name or her last name. Um, and hopefully you'll know her first name so that you don't accidentally message one of her children. But then I can type a message, and I've I've messaged with her before, so that's that's blurred out, so that you can't see that what we're talking about. Ha ha ha. So I've typed out a message. I've been polite. 
what I like about chat is, I don't know about you, but sometimes with emails I get too caught up in um, making it look kind of like a letter, right? But in this case, I mean, I did say hi to her, um, which is nice. You can ask her how she's doing, all those things. Um, but I can, I, I can kind of skip the signature part. If the teacher really uses Teams a lot, they will be able to see a notification on their computer or phone and be able to get back to you pretty quickly. So in summary, Teams is a way for teachers to organize their classes in such a way that you have resources at you and your child's fingertips in a, in a much easier way to see it. It's also a great tool for communication. It's a great tool for collaboration because of, we have teams, we actually can do some like group work with, with things and we can also, if something happens where we can't have an in-person class meeting for some reason, Teams has the ability to do video chats similar to how Zoom works. Uh, and so it's not, it's not the end of the world if, if we have to miss a class and decide to record or, or do a live session instead. If you need any help with this or this sparks some other questions for you, please email help.teams at connectionsnw.org and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. Bye.